Actor of Batgirl in the cancelled HBO Max movie, Leslie Grace, has revealed what potentially the final look for Batgirl's costume would have looked like. And let me tell you, it does not look good at all. It's right here. I don't know if it's the lighting and that it's blurry, but something off-putting about it. It just seems so cheap, so cheaply made. Like, the costume to the right of it looks way better, as well as right here with, um... With Brandon Fraser's character, which is, it's kind of, it's disappointing that this series didn't come out because we won't be seeing Michael Keaton or Brandon Fraser in these roles. But on the good side of things, Michael Keaton is going to be in Flashpoint. But then you have that whole debacle with Ezra Miller and such. But it is just a shame that seeing that, it just seems that quality is just going downhill across the board for many things. Movies. Here we have costumes. Then in the real world we have cars phones like everything is just the same there's no more companies aren't trying to make improvements to their designs they're just trying to push it out to make the profits and make it cheap and in this case this costume looks extremely cheap and if we compare it to the original 1968 Batgirl like look at the day and difference I think this is 10 times better than what was shown in by uh, Leslie Grace's reveal I don't know, but it just seems a lot better to me that the original, and it's kind of sad that the original looks way better than this, because you would think that the newer version will look ten times better because the budget would be so much higher. But clearly that isn't the case. Leslie Grace is giving us a look at the Batgirl costume that might have been in a look back end of your video post on Instagram. Grace, who would have starred in the role in the HBO Max film, has shared some behind-the-scenes photos and clips during filming of Batgirl which is permanently shelled by Warner Bros. and DC. Now, the thing is, it, it kind of makes you wonder, why was this film shoved? HBO, uh, DC and Warner Bros. lost $90 million, and they would just say it was a business de decision. It was making more sense for them to cancel it and write it as a tax write-off than release and potentially lose an extra $180 million with marketing and so on. But... Something on the back of my mind is saying that this this film would have been terrible if they canceled it just out of the blue like that. They must have seen it and seen how terrible it was. I don't know what how what it could have been, but that is just something to think of think about. Could have made Batman look like a like a weakling, and then you have Batgirl coming to save the day, saving Batman, being the hero, being all strong and such. It could have been that. I don't know. But that's just something to think about. It was to have bowed on HBO Max sometime in 2023, which will not happen. Thank you for teaching me, 2022. You were singular in many ways that would stay with me, Grace captioned the post. My gratitude and love for life is much deeper thanks to the experiences you brought me. I take your lessons with me as we part. The video features Grace in costume what appears to be her trailer. The use of yellow in the costume is a reminder of the Batman suit worn by Michael Keaton in the 1989 Batman film and sequel Batman Returns. Keaton was to reprise his role in Batgirl, which is a shame that we won't be seeing him. The film, which also was to star Brandon Fraser, was to bow in 2023. That's a, It's kind of sad. Brandon Fraser, everyone loves him. But I'm happy that he's getting the recognition now in The Whale. Him killing his, uh, killing the role and doing extremely well, and even possibly uh, getting pushed as an Oscar nomination, which was amazing. As Deadline previously reported, the exact reason behind the shelving was not made clear, but according to sources, did not fall in line with the new strategy being implemented by DC Films as well as HBO Max. Now, maybe they knew about this change in DC Films, because we know now James Gunn has come onto the scene as co-leader. Of DC and him pretty much cutting things out and trying to start over again with DC implementing the basis the foundation of a new storyline just as Marvel had started but DC was a giant mix-up so maybe that's the reason why it was canceled or maybe it was something far much worse that the audiences who would have seen it would have hated it this studio is looking to make theoretical ten pulls with budget at 90 million plus and from early footage seen, this did not fall into place with that model. Batgirl was greenlighted at $70 million budget, so it went $20 million overboard. 
The decision also followed several changes across the company, including major changes to HBO Max. The film was in final stages of post-production when it was canceled. And then you can watch the video below of her post, but we're not going to. I would like to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Do you guys... Are you guys kind of happy we didn't get this because of the outcome that it could have had? Or did you guys wish that we did have it? Let me know your guys' thoughts, and I hope you guys subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.